Hey, what's up? This is Izzy. Today, I'd like to explain what an MCP is, how it works, and how you can set it up in your local environment so it could automate a lot of mundane tasks. Well, what an MCP? Uh, the MCP is a protocol that was created by Anthropic about seven months ago to give access to external context to LLMs. Uh, and that external context can be anything. It could be um, a third-party database connected with your account. It can be your local terminal. It can be other LLM that could perform other tasks. It can be whatever. As long as there is an MCP server, you can communicate with that through your uh, local LLM or you know any LLM as long as it's you have access to it. All right, now that we understand what MCPs are and how they work, let's see. Um, Let's see in action um, what it could automate for us. Here, I have a linear and I have Playwright MCPs uh, with different tools. So what I'm going to ask in linear, I have this ticket called add live dark theme to Svelte frontend. So I'm going to ask the LLM to go ahead to linear and see my Svelte team toggler and see in the pull requests if I have, if, um, if there is any development done, done check through Playwright and see if, see if the button toggler works, toggler works. If it works, mark the ticket as done. If it doesn't work, add comments of the behavior of the bug, if there is, or add just comments of where the work is. The work is to the ticket, to the ticket. You know what, we're gonna make it even harder and we're gonna tell it to mm, mention, mention, the person who should be working on that ticket, on that ticket as well. So LLMs struggle with multi-step uh, requests. So it might actually not work, but let's see, let's hope it would work. Um, I'm gonna give just the URL to my GitHub. Um, URL. But I am giving it the pull request for that URL, so hopefully we'll be able to find it. Okay, let's see. So here, what it's gonna do is, first it has to go to linear, find that request. Then, okay, yeah, there you go. It's going to the list of issues and then trying to find Svelte theme toggler. I don't believe that exists because it's called add light dark theme Svelte. However, it did open Playwright. You can see it here. So what's going on is it opened the PR. Ooh, it opened the deployment from Netlify. So by default, the app asks for login information, which we don't have, but it still can kind of interact with the front end because again, the way how Playwright works, it just interacts with the HTML it sees. Oh, I did actually dismiss that. So we're just going to scroll down here and see where it's at. Perfect. Now the dialog is closed. And then it's trying to toggle the theme button. See? And the button, if you saw it, it just clicked on it. And then this whole thing happening through Playwright, LLM is just coming up with the request. And then reading the re response. And creating a new request again. And you can see that it has created the, um, and then, you know what? It created the comment and even the, uh, it mentioned myself, um, which is Izzy Manshrov and it's perfect. Um, but since it connected to my linear, it's just mentioning itself in this case, which is pretty cool. Uh, review, sure. Um, in progress. Oh, it even made it in progress. This is so cool.
Yeah, this is done. It's perfect. Okay, how do we set this up? There are hundreds of different MCPs that you can set up. Literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different MCPs that do different things. There's even, look, Mac messages MCP. And these are dynamic. People are still creating new MCPs and adding them. So you have to periodically check what is new here. Uh, soccer data, Telegram, um, to do with Tic Tac. So many different things, and it's pretty cool. Apart from this MCP server, um, there's also a Reddit community called uh, MCP. <laughs> And I found it great to kind of find new uh, different MCPs to follow. Um, it's a great community. I found it a couple days ago and it already has like 23,000 members in here. So, okay, how do we set it up? Google Sheets mobile MCP. Okay. So, so you fetch it from Claude, goes to mobile MCP and then talks with the local phone. Okay. Okay, it's, do I need to do anything? No, okay, this is pretty cool. This is this is actually the ones that I love. They're super easy to set up. So if you're setting up with Claude, what do you do is go to settings, go to developer, and then you click edit config. And then you see this file, you open it. And what you're gonna see here is gonna be something like this okay probably gonna have something like this or you might even have something like this uh, it might be nothing so what you want to do is just come here and add your um add the mcp server config so if you only have one If you have nothing, all you have to do is just add it within MCP servers, right? This is what you're gonna have. You just copy paste this file and that's it. That's how it should look like. If you have multiple MCP servers and the last one, make sure just to add comma and add the MCP server. Um, and that's it and then just do not add um, trailing comma here. You'll be good. Then what you're gonna do, you restart your service and then reopen it. And over here, you can see that now I have a mobile MCP. And that's it, it's super easy. Thanks for joining, thanks for uh, watching this to the end. Please hit like and subscribe. I will try to add more videos and then I'll try to make them better. See you next time.